Hello. We will see how to transform a lecture theatre into a learning theatre. What is the goal of teaching? Ultimate goal of teaching is do just that teach, not stand up in front of the room or talk. But sometimes it is easier to talk than to teach. As we all know, especially when we need to cover a lot of material in a short amount of time. We hope students will understand, if not now, the before the test time or examination time. And we keep our finger crossed that their results will indicate we have done our job. The problem is, we rely on these tests to measure understanding and then we move on. Few of us take time to address weaknesses and misunderstanding after the test have been graded. And by that time, it is too late for student to, to be interested. This means, we need to rethink how we approach assessment during the class. The most effective way to test understanding is to do it while lesson is still going on. Question is the key means by which teachers find out what student al already know, identify gaps in the knowledge and understanding and replan the lesson to close the gap between what the currently known and the learning goals. Questioning is the key means by which teachers find out what student already know, identify gaps in the knowledge and understanding and replan the lesson to close the gap between what currently known and the learning goals. Starting a lecture with a recap of previous one to refresh memories and to make everyone on the same page before starting a class is highly recommended. And it is always useful to finish a lecture with a wrap up of all the material that was just presented. I still remember my guru, late Dr. V. V. Modi, founder professor of microbiology and biotechnology, MS University, Baroda, who was used to give a brief questionnaire on the key concepts and background at the beginning of lecture to encourage students to recollect what they have learned so far and to make them more receptive for upcoming class. As teachers, we know that not everything we say will be understood the first time. When we ask more than one question, students often do not respond because they are unsure which questions we want them to answer. In the course planning, we should include notes about when we will post to ask and answer questions. Asking questions throughout the class will not only be more interactive, but also help to measure and improve students learning. Do not wait until the last two minutes of the class to ask for questions. Students are more likely to pay attention and focus if they know that they will be asked to respond. Students engagement is one of the best reason for advocating. We want all to know what all of the students are thinking and understanding. Not just one student, we can call on the class if we were to ask question orally. And for this, teachers need instant feedback system in the classroom. We can truly see who understand the concept and who does not without disclosing a student's identity. We can use immediate student's example of work to critic without calling anyone out and build the platform for conversation. We get immediate feedback and can also adjust based on that direct feedback as we were to move next with the lesson to pull for a reteach re group or to move ahead because we do not need to hit that skill as hard as we thought. It is clear that students learn best when they are involved in the lecture, that is when they are actively participate rather than passive attitude that hinders learning. In this respect, a student's response system represents a promising tool to make this technically possible and transform lecture theatre into learning theatre. 
we get immediate feedback and can self adjust based on the direct feedback as we were to move next with the lesson. With advancement of technology and internet everywhere, several options are available for the student response system, which can be used on smartphones, iPad, tablets with browsers on laptop and Chromebook. Some popular student response systems are Web Clicker, Socrative, Infuse Learning, QuizSocket, Code, Verso, Poll Everywhere and Mentimeter.